Welcome grade 1 students. We're continuing with quarter 3 in our English class today. We'll be studying unit 12, what do we wear? Our new lesson today will be about reflexive pronouns. Do you know what those are? Neither do I. Let's learn together. Like always, boys and girls, before we start our lesson today, we need to review our last lesson. And in our last lesson, we were reviewing how to use colors as adjectives. Remember, adjectives are describing words. They tell us about the noun. In our example, the green socks. In this sentence, green is the adjective because it tells us more about the socks, which is the noun. Remember, nouns are the things, people, places, and animals. So the things we can see and touch. Adjectives help us to understand what do they look like. Okay, boys and girls, let's play a quick little game. You need to find an empty piece of paper. You may use your English notebooks or even just a normal blank piece of paper. Um, boys and girls, no date, no title for now. This is just going to be something for fun. I want you to draw me a picture with the following adjectives. The student or boy or girl must have a green shirt, number one. Number two, they must have blue trousers. And number three, they must have red shoes. So can you quickly draw me a picture with a green shirt, blue trousers, and red shoes? Boys and girls, this is not for points. This is just for fun. So teacher is only going to give you three minutes. So get your green pencil, your blue pencil, your red pencil, and your normal gray pencil, and see if you can draw me a quick picture of a boy or a girl with these adjectives. Students, your time starts now. Okay, boys and girls, if you are not finished yet, please pause the video now. If you need some more time, just pause it, complete the exercise, and then unpause the video. If you're live in class with Teacher David, this will be his job, so don't worry about it. Okay, let's continue with our vocabulary, dressing yourself. Let's see what words we will learn today in our lesson. Okay, the two phrases we will learn today is to dress or tie their laces. Okay, to dress means to put on your clothes. It's as simple and easy. You get dressed to go to school means you put your school clothes on when you get ready to go to school. If we look at number two, tie their laces. The word tie means to make a knot. In this sentence, we use it as a verb, something that we do. Your laces, those are the strings that are on your shoes that help to keep your shoes on. And they do not fall off. So if somebody says tie your laces or tie your shoelaces, it means we make a knot with the laces that are on our shoes so that our shoes do not fall off. Do you know how to tie your shoelaces? Okay, let's practice the words too quickly. Together, teacher first and you second. Remember to say the words out loud. To dress. One more. To dress. Okay, number two. Tie their laces. Let's try again. Tie their laces. Okay, very good boys and girls. Let's get on to our lesson section for today. Now let's start our correct lesson. Today's presentation will be on using reflexive pronouns. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. We will learn in the next slide. All right, boys and girls, we already know our pronouns. I, he, she, it, we, and they. 
Those are our seven pronouns that we use almost every day in English. Now let's read together from the top. Reflexive pronouns are words that refer back to the subject in the sentence. Okay, boys and girls, the subject in the sentence is the things that we are talking about. So if I use he in the beginning of the sentence, the correct reflexive pronoun at the end of the sentence will be himself. Remember, he we can change to him and himself. We use reflexive pronouns at the end of a sentence when we talk about something in the beginning of the sentence. All right, we do have singular and plural reflexive pronouns. So let's continue reading. Reflexive pronouns end with self for singular or selves for plural. We change the F to a V and we plus ES. Let's quickly learn our reflexive pronouns. Practice with teacher. Singular. We have myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself. Do these words sound similar to the pronouns we practiced last week? My, your, him. Those are the ones we use to show ownership. But when we're speaking about a person, we say self to refer to the person. Our plural ones practice again. Ourselves. Ourselves. Number two, yourselves. Yourselves. Themselves. Themselves. Okay, boys and girls, if you want to practice some more, just rewind the video and press play one more time. Let's go and look at how we use them in a sentence. In our sentence here, we read, The girl can dress herself. All right, the subject of the sentence, the thing we are speaking about, is always in the beginning. And in this sentence, it's the girl. The girl is the subject. We're speaking about herself. What can the girl do? She, the verb shows dress. She can dress. It means to put her clothes on. Okay, the girl can dress herself. That means she does not need help. The reflexive pronoun means she can do it alone herself. All right, nice and easy. When the sentence at the beginning is a boy, the boy can dress himself. If we look at a sentence with an animal, the cat cannot dress itself because a cat does not have thumbs. It cannot hold a shirt or trousers. So it cannot dress itself. Let's look at all the different reflexive pronouns and in examples of how to use them. The first word, myself, we use myself with the pronoun I. So we use this one when talking about yourself. For example, I can dress myself. Easy. We use yourself with you. We use this when talking about someone else. For example, you can dress yourself. Easy. We use herself with she. So when we use this when talking about a girl. Our example, she can dress herself. Very easy. We use himself with he. So we use this one when we talk about a boy. For example, he can dress himself. Again, these are easy things, boys and girls. Let's keep going. Our last reflexive pronouns for the singular category is itself. We use itself with it. So we can use this one when talking about an animal. For our example, it can clean itself. 
All right, easy. But one thing to remember, boys and girls. So remember, boys and girls, these reflexive pronouns end with self because they are singular. We already know the pronouns my, your, its, him, and her. All we do is add the word self at the end, and that shows us again it is singular. Let's look at the plural reflexive pronouns next. Here we have our first plural reflexive pronoun. Ourselves. We use ourselves with we. So when we are talking about yourself and at least one other person, remember it must be you and a friend or two friends or three friends. Normal like we use we, I must be there with other people. For an example, we can dress ourselves, means everybody here with me, we know how to get dressed alone. Okay, the next one is a little bit tricky, yourselves. Remember singular, we have yourself, and plural, we have yourselves. We use yourselves with you when talking about more than one person. So we use this one when talking about other people when there is more than one. Okay, remember, it cannot be you. We talk about other people. So our example can show you can dress yourselves. We use this when we're talking to a general group of people. We're not actually speaking about one person specific. Let's look at the last one. The last one, themselves. We use themselves with they. So we use this one when talking about other people that are more than one. For example, they can dress themselves. All right, that's nice and easy. Last point. Remember, boys and girls, these reflexive pronouns end with selves because they are plural and that means they have more than one all right boys and girls for the next section please get your english notebooks prepared now copy these sentences down and fill in the blank spaces with the correct reflexive pronoun so boys and girls we will only copy the yellow square today so wait till you see it and then pick up your pencil First, let's look at an example. Question, I can make lunch blank. So I is the subject pronoun. What will be the reflexive pronoun at the end of the sentence? Our answer, I can make lunch myself. Okay, so if you look at the first subject pronoun, that'll tell you which will be the correct reflexive pronoun to use. If we look at this black square, we have all seven of our reflexive pronouns here. Myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, and in the plural ones, themselves, ourselves, and yourselves. Do not copy the square, boys and girls, only the yellow square. Okay, pencils down, boys and girls, we're not time yet. For grade 1A, please make sure you have the dates, Tuesday the 27th of April. And for grade 1B, you will be using Wednesday the 28th of April. So please use the correct date for the correct class. Our title will be Reflexive Pronouns. Remember to skip one line and then we copy sentences 1 to 5. Number 1, he can play with his toys by blank. You shows a singular, boys and girls, so make sure you use the singular reflexive pronoun. You can eat by blank. That's easy. Number three, she can write the test by blank. Okay, she, nice and easy. Number four, they can finish their work by, hmm, which plural? Because they is plural. Can you know which is the correct reflexive pronoun to use for they? 
And the last one, we can draw pictures by blank. Okay, boys and girls, it is time to start copying only the yellow square. Listen carefully, boys and girls, only the yellow square, nothing else. There's five sentences, so teacher will give you 10 minutes to copy the sentences. Boys and girls, your 10 minutes will start now.
lastly, boys and girls, let's look at our homework for today. I want you to listen to the sentences on page 44 and then read the sentences alone. First, we listen. The teacher will read alone. The dancing is over. The football is over. It is time to go home. The first girl says, she can dress herself. Do you see how she points to the other girl? And what does that girl say? I can dress myself. She speaks about herself. That's easy. Okay, what does the teacher ask? They can dress themselves. Can they tie their own shoelaces? Hmm, let's see. The two boys together say, we can dress ourselves. Okay, they're talking about each other. And the little boy standing up says, he can dress himself. Okay, he's pointing and talking about another boy. So which boy can dress his, can tie his own shoelaces? Yes, it's the boy in the blue shirt. Okay, nice and easy sentences, boys and girls. Make sure you practice reading loud alone at home. If you want to listen to the sentences one more time, Please re rewind the video and play it again. Your last piece of homework today, boys and girls, is in your workbook on page 44. And it says, getting dressed. Finish the sentences, then match the sentences to the pictures. So, boys and girls, for your homework, please write your name and class at the top of the page. Complete the sentences with the correct reflexive pronoun. Lastly, then match the sentences to the correct picture. So if we look at number one, it says, he can dress himself. And if we look, there's a little line, and they drew the line to the middle picture. And we can see there's a boy on the sofa, and he's talking about the other boy putting on his jeans. He can dress himself. Number two, I can dress blank. What do you think is the correct reflexive pronoun we will use for I? Oh, which one is it going to be? It's myself. Very good, boys and girls. I can dress myself. Now look at the pictures. Will it be number one, two, three, four, five, or six? Look at the pictures carefully. I, he's working alone. We're not speaking about other people. We're speaking about ourselves. So which picture has somebody alone getting dressed? Correct. It's number four, the baby with the blocks. I can dress myself. Okay, the last ones, boys and girls. You can read alone and you can write the answers alone. Good luck and remember to send a photo on Google Classroom so teacher can record your scores. And that's it for our class today, grade one boys and girls. I hope you've learned a lot. And remember, thank you very much. Enjoy your day and don't forget to do your homework. Bye bye everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.